Hi guys, um, welcome to my video. Uh, this video is about why you should be taking a career in IT, information technology. And I'll be going, I'll be talking about how I go into IT and um, what are the benefits of working in an IT uh, career field and, uh, and how you can get into IT. So I'll be talking about what certifications you should start off with and what kind of experience you need and so on and forth. how I got into IT. So about a year, well about two years now, uh, I was doing my law degree and um, at the same time I got into building PCs uh, for gaming PCs and so I really enjoyed that. So it's, I lost a bit of interest in law and um, just studying for so long and I was like I need to try something new. I always enjoyed doing something. Uh, so I took a gap year. I started building my own PCs at home and just start building them, selling them and just playing online with friends and stuff. So, and then after that, while I was doing that, my older brother advised me to do the CompTIA A+, which is a certification uh, for IT professionals. I'll get to, uh, into detail of that in a few minutes, but that's what I did. And then once I got that certification, I started looking for work. So I was looking for work everywhere, like as a help desk or a data center technician. And so I found a, a, I found a job at Amazon data center. So I started working there for a few months. Picked up a lot of experience and once my contract ended, uh, that was there and that, that was done. And so I moved on and I started looking for more jobs on uh, LinkedIn. I'll go into, I might make a video in the future why LinkedIn is such a good site to use to find jobs. So I was looking on jobs for on LinkedIn. I uh, met this recruiter and he said, do you want to work for a data center role? And I really enjoyed my data center role previously. So I got in touch with him and started working there for a few months. Down the line, right now, I'm working at Microsoft and I really enjoy my job. Uh, there's a video about Microsoft Data Center role uh, that I was playing in the background. I'll stick that in or I'll put a link to it. It's a great video and it's, it's basically showing people that have had either zero experience or they've worked in a completely different field and now they're working in a, an IT environment and they're only progressing their career. And right now I am progressing my career. I'm currently doing a few networking uh, certifications. And I'll go that into detail later on as well, but that's that's about it. That's how I got into IT. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about what are the pros of working in IT. And um, first thing I'm going to say up there is uh, you don't need a degree to work in IT. Um, I I don't have a degree right now in especially in IT or any other field. So I know there's lots of people that don't have degrees and they're working in an IT environment. Um, they've all done certification of some kind, but yeah, you don't need a degree. Uh, working in IT every day is different. Uh, what I mean by that is every day you'll find something new, you'll find something a bit challenging or something new you learn every day. So, And then from time to time you will be challenged, which is great because I think if there's no point working in an environment where you're not challenged because you get bored too easily and then it's a bit pointless and you tend to give up and that's when you want a new career so right now if in your career you're not being challenged i think it is a career that you want to go down uh you will so while you're working you will learn and you will develop your career so currently right now i came through as a data center technician and i know down the line i can move on to project management and so on and forth because i know someone that has done that so you can come through it as a data center technician work there a few years because at the same time you could be learning like the job where I'm working there, they offer a lot of learning and support. So I could be learning software engineering or software development, cloud, whatever. It's all up to you and the resources are there. And especially from IT, all kind of resources are online and there's a really big community. Yeah, so back to community, IT, it's a great community to be working in. There's a lot of people that will help you and support you. There's lots of blogs online, videos, and you can like just Google anything and you'll find it. So. It's, it's not hard and the big thing that no one really likes talking about but the pay in IT is great uh, I'd say the minimum you'd be getting is about 30 grand in Dublin so that's like a uh, that's a, a help desk job that you'll be getting from so 30 grand is not bad because if let's say if you are coming out of retail you're finding your retail jobs a bit boring or it can be a bit tiring because I've done a lot of retail jobs and I found them a bit tiring so on that I was about 25k and which is not too much, but with this in IT, I didn't really need a degree or anything. I did a few certificates. Yeah, I had to work a bit hard, but 
I started around 30 and then I've just moved up progress a bit. So I think the pay in IT is pretty decent. The fact that you don't need any kind of degree, any background knowledge, other than you just need to do your certifications and show that you have the knowledge. But if you do have a degree in IT, it's great. You will get further and it's great, I think. Hi. Okay, so how, how to get into IT? Uh, back here I have a CompTIA roadmap and it basically tells you uh, the beginners and the intermediate, advanced and experts and then it tells you basically where you can end up depending on what certification you do. So you can end up in training, software development, web mobile and so on forth, hardware and cloud. So what I went with was CompTIA Plus. It's just a bit, there's CompTIA ITFA. So that's uh, the independent, uh, I forgot what was the name of it, but it's just a bit easier, but I would, I would personally say everyone should start at CompTIA Plus. With CompTIA Plus, it has flavors of every kind of aspect of IT. So it'll teach about hardware, software, networking, security, like Linux and Windows, everything basically. It's just a bit of, a bit of everything. And then after you get your CompTIA Plus, I would recommend is you get a at least one kind of uh, a networking certification. So maybe the... Microsoft uh, Networking Fundamentals or Networking Plus, uh, Networking Plus, or even uh, if you're feeling very brave and you want to get a better certification, it would be the CCNA, which is really good. But I think it takes a very long time. And if you really down, down the road, if you don't really need networking, I wouldn't recommend you going for the CCNA. Would you come to A Plus in your hand and then any other networking, uh, uh, support, any networking certification, you're good. And after that, start going and doing whatever you want. So if you want to do Cloud Plus or Azure, it's all up to you. I think just get the foundation, the two foundation, I think, A Plus and the networking, you're good to go. So yeah, just to end the video, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you want, uh, just, just ping me on anything. I'll, I'll leave a few contact details below. And hope this video helped someone, even if one person, it'd be great. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon in the next videos.